get it one PH there here. In the earlier video, I did an uh, unboxing and review of the Dell WD19 TV dock. Now, in that section in that video, I did see how the MacBook Pro with Touch Bar reacts with the dock itself and how it reacts with three external screens. And pretty much, if you haven't checked that video out, I'll put it in the link description below so you can check that out. But pretty much, it was only able to get one external screen with extended monitors and the rest were all just pretty much mirror. Since that video, Dell PR team has actually contacted me to try and see if we can actually get a better outcome with the Dell WD19 TV. So I'd like to give a nice shout out and thanks to the Dell ANZ team for contacting me and helping us out. In that process, they actually explain some of the reasons for docks being supported with some laptops and not. Now, one of the things they actually explained was with Thunderbolt docks, they generally don't use display link drivers. And what they do use is the native video connection. So that's the reason why you don't actually have to install drivers for Thunderbolt docks. And for the docks that require the display link drivers, you can identify them by the display link drivers sticker that they must put on the dock. So this is here is the display link driver for the D6000. And I've actually put a review of this and I'll put a link in the description below so you can actually just check that out if you want to see that as well. One of the reasons why is for the results that I got with the previous video with the WD19 TV and the MacBook Pro is that the Mac OS X does not support some multi-stream transport hubs. So in the end of all the jargon it is pretty much you do need to connect a second monitor or third monitor through the Thunderbolt port. Now the WD19 TV has only got one extra Thunderbolt port so we'll try that out and let's see how that goes. I don't have a Thunderbolt monitor so I'm going to employ one of my other devices I have which is the Dell DA300. Now I've put a review of this and I'll put in the link in the description below if you want to check that review out and pretty much I'm going to connect the left monitor through its display port and connect it to this DA300 and connect the DA300 with the Thunderbolt port in the WD19 TB. So let's go and do that. And I've pretty much got the center monitor connected by HDMI. So let's just get that going and put this into the Thunderbolt port back here. And then I'll connect the WD19 TB into the MacBook Pro and we'll see what happens here now. So I've got one, two and three and they're all going through fantastically. I'll go to arrangement as you can see we are now got extended screen which is great. So I've got left, center and right which is great. So I can actually move this across. So I do have now three screens for the display, two external screens and the built-in screen which is great and will it work with it running on the lid close? Great and it does too which is good so you can actually get dual screens with WD19 TB. Now I have tried connecting three monitors to the MacBook Pro but because the WD19 TB only has one Thunderbolt port which is on the, located on the back of where the extra module is, the front USB-C is not a Thunderbolt port so it can only go to external screens for the MacBook Pro. If you find the video informative give it a like and if you haven't done already subscribe to the channel by hitting that subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. I do try to upload a new video every Tuesdays and Fridays and just remember imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.